Ever feel buried in repetitive clicks, managing files or messages in Microsoft Teams? What if I could turn hours of busy work into just seconds with one click? Hi, I'm your computer friend Connie here, and I'm about to show you something called Quick Steps in Microsoft Teams. Yes, Quick Steps. And if you've heard of it before, you've probably heard of it within Microsoft Outlook because it's been a feature in there for many years. So let's look at what it can do for us in Microsoft Teams to make everything so much quicker. Quick Steps are really built in automations for the files area within Microsoft Teams. They let you perform anything repetitive. So as you can see from the screen of creating a quick step, I can draft an email about a file in Microsoft Teams. I can start a chat about a file that I have in Teams. I can set a value on that file. You'll see what I mean about that in a few minutes. I can execute a flow. We're not going to do that today. I've got other videos on that one, um, but we also can look at how to move a file or copy a file with just one click. So I'm going to show you first off what it looks like, and then we're going to backtrack and create some quick steps from scratch. So in terms of what it looks like, I have a team here that I have sample files in and have created some sample quick steps. So you can see, well, what are these things really going to do for me, Connie? So here I have some agendas and you can see that there's an instructor that's in charge of each agenda and there's someone that actually approves the agenda. And there's even a status. Is this agenda a new agenda or is it complete or is it a work in progress? OK, so let's take a look at the quick steps that are involved with these files. At the top of the files area, I'm going to go to the three dots and from the three dots, I'm going to automate and from automate, you see, I have an option for quick steps. So rather than create a quick step, which we'll do in a few minutes, I'm going to go to manage quick steps. So you can see the ones I already have for our sample. So the first one there is saying I have a quick step that is going to move a selected file. So that's kind of key there. You have to select the file or files that you want to have the quick step apply to. So one of them is going to move that selected file to learning manuals. Another one is going to start a chat with somebody that modified the file. And the third one is actually going to change that file to be complete if I choose that quick step or files, by the way, that's kind of the, the savings of time there. I can select a number of files and mark them all complete at once. And then my fourth example, quick step is going to email someone about the file. And in this case, that someone is the instructor and how it knows who the instructor is, is based on the column that I have for that instructor. Okay, so let's test out these quick steps and then you're going to learn how to do them yourself. So if I select a file here, the list agenda, I'm going to go to my three dots and choose automate. And you can see that when I choose automate, I now see the quick steps, email the instructor, mark this as complete, chat with the modifier, so modifier being modified by, or move to a different area within my team. So for my first example, I'm going to choose email the instructor. So click on email instructor. It picks the instructor's email basic from the instructor email column here. So from that one click, it created a email message for me and it's addressed it to Connie. That's the instructor that's on this particular file. It's typed in a subject line that was part of the quick step and it's put in the link to the file that I had selected. Now this link looks a little bit long and maybe not so pretty. So just a quick little tip for you here. Just right click on that link, go to edit hyperlink. You want to keep the address as it is because that's the address to the file. And in the text to display, you can just type in the file name. OK, and then you fixed it. All right. But otherwise, you could add a few more details if you want and then hit send and off that file goes. So that was quick. Let's try another one. I'm going to take a couple of these draft agendas and I'm going to mark them as complete. So I've selected more than one agenda and I don't have to go to the three dots right now because actually the automate option is available to me on my menu. So that might change from time to time, depending on how much you have selected or depending on how big your screen is. So if you can't see automate on your menu, then just go to the three dots. So I want to take these two files and I want to, I've only got two options here. I can either change the status of them to complete or I can move both of them at the same time to a different place. I'm going to say change the status to complete. And there you have it. It is complete. OK, so let's look at how to create these quick steps from scratch. So a couple of things to note here is it's within the files area that we're working within. The other thing is whatever quick step we put within this files area of this channel, 
of this team affects other channels in the same team. So all the channels in one team are affected by the quick steps. If I move to a different team, I'll have different quick steps. Does that make sense? So I'm going to go to the instructors team. I'm just going to go to the general channel. I'm in the files area of my general channel of the instructor team. And I'm just going to take a peek at those quick steps again. So three dots automate quick steps. I'm going to choose manage quick steps. So I have nothing selected. So it's not giving me a list of them. And you'll see these are different quick steps in this particular team, just like I said. So let's create a new quick step. So I can either choose create a quick step from this button at the top here, or from the menu, I can just go to automate quick step, create a quick step. So let's do that. So I'm going to choose draft an email. So I'm going to click on that one and it says show a command that will as for a selected file draft an email to and then you have to enter in the person's name or email address and you'll see what our choices are there in a second. So draft an email is fine. If I click on the drop down, it just gives me the other options for quick steps, the chat option, the value option. Those are all the other things we saw in that previous screen. We'll leave it at draft email. And then two, if I click in that box, it says I can draft it to whoever created the file, whoever modified the file, whoever uh, sign off status wouldn't, wouldn't make sense. I don't think that's a person, but the manager is certainly a person or an email address. So the, the deal here is the column has to be of person that's a part of the team that you're in or an email address belonging to a person that is a part of the team. And then you have another option here at the bottom to just email yourself. Not sure why we do that, but yeah, it's here as an option. So let's say we want to email whatever file we've selected to the manager. So name of quick step. Let's do that. I'm just going to say email to manager. Keep it short and sweet. And I could include recipients uh, on the CC line. So again, if I click there, I get the same list of people. So I'm going to leave that blank, but that's an option. And here's the subject line. So you saw my, my email example had a subject line. This is how you get it. Okay. So my subject line is going to be, please review this file, include the link in the message body. You definitely want that. And then display conditionally. So this one's kind of interesting. It says, I always show this quick step versus if I hit the drop down, only show this quick step if a certain condition is available. So let's go to the if. So what's the condition? So now I'd have to figure out what's my condition. When do I want to have this file available to be sent to the manager? Let's go to the columns here. So I have to look at my columns. If the final version, it's not a bad one. Final version, choose a condition is choose a value. Yes. So I happen to have a column that has conditions in it that says yes or no. So this is a great example of where I could use this quick step only when the final version is yes. So let's create this. So email to manager is showing in my list of quick steps. Let's go out of here. And there's that final version column. And by the way, if you need help on how to make these columns within your files area, please check out my video for this. The link will be in the description below. So I chose manager, but I see I have no managers actually identified in this column. So I'm just going to fill that in for us so that we have a manager here. Actually, I'll, I'll choose a couple of them. And then I'm going to go to details once I've selected the files. And under manager, it is a text box, which means I'm going to type in the email address of the manager. Now, this person does need to be a part of the team that I'm in, by the way, because of permissions on your files. So I'm just using the info email address for Mission Computers. And let's mark both of these files as final, because remember, I will not be able to send this email to the manager for this file unless the version is final. And that was just the condition we put on it, right? I'm going to close this details pane here and you can see that the manager is listed here info at Mission computers and these are both checked on for final version. So now I'm just going to unselect those two files and let's do the form example. Go to the three dots, automate email to manager. All right, here's that email that was created. Let's just right click on that link, edit it. Okay, change the text, choose OK. All right, and then we can add in more details onto this email message and we can add in more people if we wish. But the point is, what a fast way to send a link from your team to another person on the team. Now, this one's via email, but let's do another one that's via a post. I did say via a post, but actually, if I go to my automate, I don't see under quick steps, start a team's post, which post would be more in the channel of a team. There is start a team's chat. Oh, so I'll demonstrate this one. I hope they do put via a post because it'd be better for me to send that note within the team uh, that I'm in to my teammates there about the file. 
So let's go to start a Teams chat. And so we'll decide who is who are we going to start the Teams chat with. So if I click here, I can say that I want to send a chat with whoever created the file or to whoever modified the file. Or I could literally type in an email address if I wish. Again, I have to be mindful of permissions and if the files that I'm sending a link from don't have permissions for the person I'm sending the chat to, then they may not be able to access that link. Let's choose who was created by. All right, so we see a file in our Teams channel. We want to chat with the person that created it, uh, talk a little bit about the file, send the link to the file so they know what we're referring to. Uh, so here's our quick step name is chat with file creator. And we could have a condition if we wish. I'm going to skip it this time and just say create. So chat with file creator is one of our quick steps now. So I'm going to close out of there. I'm going to pick a file that doesn't have my name on it. I'm going to use this one. This one's the, my info at mission email address. So it'll be a little bit different. So if I choose this one and then go to the three dots and now go to automate and chat with file creator. And it starts a chat with this person here. And in the chat, it does have the link. Now in a chat, I showed you how to change the link in a file, in an email with just the right click. We can't do that in the chat, at least not yet. So we could go to the A, the, the letter A in the pencil, click on that guy. And then if you highlight this, I don't know if we need to highlight the whole thing, but I'm just going to do it in case and copy it. It's going to go to link here. I highlighted it and copied it. So I'm going to paste that link in there. I could have just grabbed it from the text to display here, but I want to change this, right? So then they see that rather than that big long link. Okay, so I'm in the chat area. I'm sending this to the info at mission person and uh, I have the link to the file included here. So let me just hit send and there it goes. So some neat ideas on what we can do with this automation right within the files area. So I hope you're keeping your files in Teams because of how much you can do here. Let's do another example where we say, okay, if I change the type of file to be a resource type of file, let's make sure these files get into the resources channel. And so we could either say copy them there. Not so much. I'm not a fan of copying things, especially between channels. Uh, why don't we say move the files? You can test this with a copy first, make sure it's working and then change it to move afterwards if that's better for you. Or maybe test it with one file could be a good idea as well. So I'm going to go up to the three dots and create another automation under quick steps and go create a quick step. And this time I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose move a file because I I'm working with sample data anyways, and I'm going to say move to. So when I click on choose a folder, watch what happens here. It still has me in instructors. That's the team I'm in, in documents. So I have all the files are kept in the documents area of instructors. That's the same as the, the word files on the top, by the way. And general is the channel I'm in. So I don't want to move it into a folder. It's in channel general right now. So obviously I don't want to move it anywhere in there. That doesn't make sense. I could move it to a folder in that channel. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go to documents. So just kind of one level back. And then I want to choose resources, right? Click on resources. And I don't want to put it into a folder or anything. I just want it to be in the resources channel. So I'm going to say select at the bottom here, right? So this command will, for each selected file or folder, move it to resources. Move file to resources is the name of my quick step. I could have a condition on it, and that's probably a good idea. So I only want to do that if the type of document is changed to resources. So only show this quick step if, so I have that column. You need to learn how to make these columns. Type of doc, choose the condition, is, and then I'm going to choose resources. This is a choice column and create that quick step, right? Move file to resources. There we go. So let's close this. So live training example, we'll say that that's going to be a resource. If you know what, we, while, we're, while we're doing it, why don't we make a quick step to say it's change the type of file to resources just so we don't have to do it manually ourselves because we have to go into details and change that. So let's make a quick step for that. So automate quick step, create a quick step, set of values. That's a value on one of our columns is what set of value is referring to. So in which column? In the type of document column. The value is going to be resource. Okay, change type of doc to resource. So that's fine. There's no condition on that. Now we have that quick step. We have quite a few quick steps, don't we? That's okay. So let's close out of there. Let's change both of these to resources. And now because I have two things selected, I, I don't have to click on the three dots because automate isn't in there. It's automates right on my toolbar at the top here. So automate, I only have two choices. So I want to change the type of doc to resource. So let's change it to resource. I'll unselect them. The quick step doesn't 
automatically move the files. I have to run the quick step for the file to move. But we put a condition on that quick step that says if the type of doc is resources, then this quick step is allowed to be run. Otherwise, it won't give me that option of that quick step. So what I mean by that is if I go to form example, which is a sample file and go to my three dots and automate, I don't have move to resources as one of my options here. Now, if I go to a live training example and I go to the three dots and I see automate, move file to resources is an option. So let's just check off both of them, by the way. And so we could, of course, do a whole bunch at the same time, just so you can see how fast that would be. So I've checked off two of them and automates at the top again. So now I can see that it says move file to resources and be only because the, res the word resources is in that column. So let's click on move file to resources. And that just shortcuts me having to go to move to and then pick where I'm moving it to and all that sort of stuff. So saving on clicks. Okay. So if I look, those files are gone. And if I go to resources and files, meetings and teams was one of those files that I moved and live training example was another file that I moved. So they moved in here successfully. So remember, no matter what channel I'm in in the team, I'm seeing the same set of quick steps. And by the way, if you don't want the quick step to be available anymore, you can go into automate, go into quick step, manage your quick steps, and you can turn it off. And that way it won't be, it won't come up in any of the lists until you go into manage quick steps, you won't see it. Now, if you don't want that quick step at all, it's like, no, no, that's not a really good quick step. I don't want anybody using this one. Then you just click on that quick step. And at the bottom left hand corner, it says delete quick step. So let's just do that. All right. So it's gone. Okay. All right. So I've given you some examples of quick steps. Hopefully that helps you become quicker in your work within Microsoft Teams. Leave a comment below. I'd love to know your thoughts on this and which quick step you're going to use from now on to make your life a lot easier in Teams. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.